Hi, I'm Mrs. Navarre. Thanks for joining me today. We're going to go ahead and do one of the mad science science experiments and it's the erupting volcano. I love doing science experiments and this is one of my favorites. So let's go ahead and get started. So before you get started, you want to make sure that you have all your supplies ready. So there's some things that you definitely need to have. You need to have some sort of bottle. Um, another option would be the little mini volcano. These are really fun. And I think I got this at Lakeshore Teaching Supply. You could probably find them online, but they're really fun to have. You need to make sure that you have some baking soda and some vinegar. Having some paper towels around is handy for cleanup. Uh, an optional choice would be the food coloring, the red food coloring. That's a really fun thing to have. And then if you happen to have a funnel around the house, that's a good thing to have also. And then um, a little spoon. And the last thing is to have a tray for your working area. That just kind of helps with the mess that we're going to make. So I'm ready to get started. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put the funnel on here and then add the vinegar. Now, because my bottle is so tall, I'm going to need to put quite a bit of vinegar in here. So I'm going to go ahead and pour it in there. Okay, that should be good, about halfway, that's pretty good. All right, and then I want you to think, what do you think is gonna happen when I add my baking soda to my vinegar? Before I do that, I wanna add some food coloring. So I'm gonna add about three drops of red food coloring. Okay, and now I'm gonna add my baking soda. So I'm just gonna scoop it in there and see what happens. Whoa, my volcano is definitely erupting. So what happens if I add a little bit more food coloring? Whoa, whoa. <laughs> What's really fun is if you um, build some, like kind of a volcano out of sand around it, it's really fun to watch what happens. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some more in here. Whoa, and there goes my volcano. This is why it's handy to have a tray. So I can just keep on adding some more. <laughs> I can keep adding more baking soda to my vinegar until my vinegar is all gone. Just keep having fun with it. Let's see, is it going to go anymore? Oh, it looks like it's about done. Oh, I think it's one more. I'll try one more. Oh, I think my volcano is done. Okay, so what I did with my mini, my little mini volcano here is I went ahead and I put the baking soda already in there. And so I'm going to go ahead and add my food coloring. Probably just maybe, oh, I guess maybe two drops. Put two drops in there. And now I'm going to add my vinegar. All right, so let's go ahead and see what happens with this one. <laughs> and there you can see my little mini volcano is still erupting. And again, I can just kind of keep adding some more and it will just keep erupting until all that baking soda is out of there. So the little mini volcano is fun also. Ooh. And that's how you do the erupting volcanoes. So it's fun to think about what happens when you put the baking soda and the vinegar together. What, what happened that caused that eruption? And then did the food coloring actually pay a, play a part in the erupting of the volcano? So it's really fun to do science experiments. Watch for some more of my mad science science experiments. And you can also check out the link below for a packet that I have available on my teacher's page too that's got some other science experiments that you can do. Super fun. I love it. Thanks for visiting me. Till next time. See ya. Bye.